So I get asked a lot of questions about what to do for dog bites, namely after we published a paper on this topic on a largest experience with pediatric dog bites out of a trauma referral center. The paper won the best paper in plastic and reconstructive surgery because we not only addressed the statistics of the dog bites, but what's the right algorithm to proceed. So the most important message that I want you to know is that if you have a dog bite, you have to immediately get the attention of an expert. And the reason is twofold. Number Number one, we want to make sure that you don't get an infection. And number two, we want to make sure that the area is closed properly so that you don't get a bad scar. Especially if you have bites that are around the eyes or the mouth or around joints, that can cause a contracture that can really, really be debilitating over the lifetime. So what's the thing to do? Immediately after you have the dog bite, you have to clean the area even simply with soap and water, keep it covered with the gauze, and then seek medical attention. That could start at a local place, but I personally prefer prefer that you go to either a pediatric trauma place for the children or a major referral center that has plastic surgeons that have managed this problem. So what we found out in our study was that patients that had to go to a local emergency room and then they had to get secondary referrals down the line usually didn't do as well as patients that immediately sought attention at the correct place and had the right first operation. It's very important to have the right first operation, number one, to clean the area really well, and number two, to be able to use some of these surgical techniques that plastic surgeons are familiar with to immediately close the wound so that you really don't have to worry about it. What we usually have to do to help improve the healing and the scarring is maybe use injections or lasers to help improve it. And here's a great example for you of one of our patients.